In this video, I wanna show you an automation that will automatically process your email. It will answer product questions and will also filter out email that isn't urgent and it'll automatically move it out of your inbox. This is something that you can sell to your clients and use for yourself. I'm personally using this one. It's one of my favorites and it's helping me save at least an hour a day just going through all of these different emails that I shouldn't have to spend time on. And there's some important things I wanna cover in this automation that make it effective without some of these insights. When you actually build out the automation, it doesn't really work properly. So let's start at the beginning getting here. I have a scheduled trigger right now. It's just set up to run at a specific interval during the day. It's running at 7, 10, 1 o'clock four o'clock and a little bit later in the evening. You can really set this up to run as often as you want. I'm running this on the cloud right now, so I don't want it to run too often and waste up too many workflow automations. But the next thing that it does is it gets all of the threads in my inbox. And it's important here that you only monitor the inbox, otherwise it's gonna look through all of your email. And I wanted to point this out because it's important that you actually pull up the threads and not individual messages. And the reason why is because once you start to process these emails, you wanna be able to collect all of the messages together because when you classify it or when you're responding to product questions, you want to have the entire thread. You want to have the whole conversation, the entire thread so that the AI can remember all of the context of previous questions. So here I have an email that I sent to myself and you can see it's asking, hey, can I have some information about the no-code community? And then it goes ahead and gives a general response for the no-code architects community. And then there was a follow-up to that original question, which asked, what are the days and times of the calls in that community? And then it was able to respond response specifically to that question, but it needed the original message to understand the context of the question in this email. So without the entire context of the thread, if this message had just come through and we had only pulled the message instead of the entire thread, then the AI wouldn't have understood what this particular message was all about, and it wouldn't have been able to give a more tailored response to the question. So the first thing that we do is we get all of the threads, and it only brings back a snippet and ID of that specific email. So then for each one of the threads that we have in our inbox, we need to get all of the messages for each thread. So that's what this is doing. It's getting all of the messages for each of the threads. So you can see that the automation ran, it found two threads, and then for each thread, it is grabbing each of the messages for those threads. Now in this next module here, what I'm doing is I'm calculating two specific variables to help me manage the email. And I'll explain this in a little bit more detail as we go, but I need to know two things. Does the thread actually contain me? So when it is looking at all of the messages in a thread is one of the messages from me. Because the thing is, is that as these threads build up, if I'm involved with the thread, I don't want to automatically archive the message when it comes in, even if it belongs in a category that would normally be archived. If I'm in a discussion, I don't want the AI or the automation to automatically move it out of the inbox and automatically categorize it because it's a discussion that I'm involved with. So for each one of these threads, I calculate two different variables and you'll see how I use these in a bit. But what I'm looking for is anywhere in this thread, does it contain a message from me? And so we have this little expression here that looks through all of the messages in a given thread and it looks for whether my email address is part of that thread. And if it is, it responds with a one, and if not, it responds with a zero for false. That way the automation knows if I'm involved in that thread or conversation or not. And then the other thing that we calculate, which is similar, but a little bit different is, is the last message in that thread from me or is it not? So it's very similar, but this one is actually looking for in the last message in that thread, is it from me or is it not? And I use the same variables here. One indicates that the last message that was in that thread is from me and a zero indicates that it is not. And then you'll see how these are used further down in the automation. Now, the next thing I'm using in this automation is a text classifier. It's a little bit different than an AI agent, although it functions similar to an AI agent. It's like a special purpose agent. What it's doing is, is it's looking at the text that you send it and it's creating a category based off of the input text. So you can add all these different categories which really map to different labels in my Gmail. So we have incoming questions, we have newsletters, we have receipts, we have sales pitches. I have this because even though I have a spam filter, a lot of sales pitches get through the spam filter anyways and I end up having to go through my email and clearing those out. Incoming invoices, transactions from my banks or retirement accounts 
social media accounts. We got fraud alerts, security alerts, and legal documents, or somebody wants to book a call with me, or they want a refund. What this text classifier does is it looks at the thread or the email coming through, and it classifies it into one of those categories. And then from there, any product questions will come into this section here, and we'll go over that in a second. And then anything that I want to label and immediately remove from the inbox because it's not important, will come down into the filter email section here where we give it a label. And then finally, we remove it from the inbox. But let's go ahead and look at the product questions more carefully. So first thing here, I have a filter. And this is where we use one of those special variables that I set here earlier in the automation. So what this filter is doing is that it's looking at the thread and it's seeing if the last message is from me. And the reason why I have this is because the way this particular automation works is that it creates a draft. So when an incoming product question comes in, like I showed you before, it creates this draft so that I can come in here and edit it before I actually send it out. But if it creates this draft and then the automation runs multiple times before I'm actually able to review and send that back out, without this filter, it will continue to create more and more drafts. So what this filter is doing is it's saying, hey, is the last message from me? And in this specific case here, the last message is from me. So what this automation is going to do is it's going to filter out any of those threads so that it doesn't automatically create another draft and just stack up drafts one after another until I actually send them out. But if I went ahead and send this and somebody sent me a reply, then the last message would not be from me and then it would be able to continue through on the automation. Now, the next thing that this automation does is that it simply classifies this particular email as a lead. And then from there, it's going into OpenAI to evaluate the conversation. So what we have in here is a system prompt. And this system prompt is designed to explain to the AI what its role is and how to access and use the tools. Basically, we're saying you're a helpful email assistant. Here are the different rules, locate the product exactly. So it's using the document. I'm simply storing the product information in a document. Instead of creating some sort of complex RAG database, for something like product questions, all you really need is a single document that outlines your products and has a common structure on how you describe each of the different products with other names here in case they use a different name for your product. I've got the no code architects community, but often people call it the NCA group or the NCA community or just NCA or the no code group. So I give it some alternate names so it can match up in case the email comes in and references something a little bit different. You give it the pricing, the product link, the description, and then it goes into the next product and it does the exact same thing. So in terms of building out an automation like this, just referencing a Google Doc is a lot easier than trying to set up some complex RAG database on Supabase or something like Pinecone. So then back into the AI assistant here, we've got the rules, we've got the format for how they should respond, where the first name goes and the product link, and then some additional instructions on how to format the email, not to make it too long, the voice and tone, making sure that it's just using facts. And then if it's not able to figure it out to ask a follow up question. And then here we have the user prompt. And so what it's doing here is it's passing in the entire thread so that if there is a back and forth, it's not just starting from zero every time. And it's able to know the previous questions it was already able to answer. Much like in this thread here, where the question was more broad, we answered, then they asked follow up questions. And then we addressed that specifically where we gave them the actual days and times and the different types of calls that are inside the community. Now let's go back and actually delete this message here so we can run the automation. So when we run it this time, the last email in the thread will not be me. So it should progress further down through the automation. So you can see here it's going through, getting the product information and now drafting the reply. So if we come back to our email, we can see here it has rewritten that automation answering the specific question in this thread here. And if we go into the actual AI response here, and if we look at what the AI was actually processing, we can see here this expression was evaluated and it passed in the entire thread of the conversation. So we can see the original message, response, and then the follow-up so that the AI had everything that it needed to properly respond with a thoughtful response. Now, if you want direct access to this automation, make sure to jump into the No Code Architects community. You'll find that in the classroom inside the templates. We've also got other courses on making money with AI automations, an N8N quick start guide. Plus you can get access to tech support where we answer 100% of all of our 
community members' questions. Now let's go ahead and review the email filtering feature of this automation. Based off of these different categories, if it matches something that we want to automatically tag and then remove from the inbox, it's going to come down this path. Now for the emails that I don't want to auto remove from my inbox, you can see that here that I have a bunch of classifications that don't go anywhere. So for instance, if I get a fraud alert, it's going to be classified by the system, but it's simply going to come out the back end and the automation is not going to do anything with it because I don't necessarily want it to automatically remove that from my inbox. It's something that I want to review. So anything that I want to remove and classify, comes down to this section here. This first section here is simply matching the classification to the actual label in Gmail. So if the classifier said this was a newsletter, then we're associating that newsletter with a specific label. This is the actual label in Gmail that we need to apply in this next module here. And we're doing the same thing for receipts and sales pitches, invoice. We're looking up the actual label identifier inside Gmail and applying it to the classification so that we can apply that in the next module here. So if you open this up, all we're doing is we're applying that label to a specific thread and it's using the label from the previous module, which is one of these. And then it moves on to the next automation, but you're gonna see that we also have a filter here. And what this filter is doing is that it's filtering out any of the conversations that include me. So you can see here, we're, again, we're using that special variable that we set here, which is figuring out, does the thread contain me at all? Or is the last message for me? So in this case, if I'm involved in the conversation at any point, I don't want the AI automation to automatically remove it from the inbox because it's a conversation that I'm engaged with, so I don't want it to move it out of the inbox where I'll miss it. So if I'm involved in the conversation, I do apply the label, but I filter that out from actually removing it from the inbox. But if I'm not a part of that thread, then it will automatically remove it from the inbox. And this is important because you're gonna find that with spam, especially with sales pitches, is that people will automatically email you multiple times and it's gonna create a thread. But if you're not part of that thread, then you're gonna to wanna to continually remove that from the inbox. So again, if you want access to this automation, jump into the No Code Architects community. You'll find that in the templates here. I hope to see you there. Either way, I hope you found this video valuable and I'll see you on the next one.